So today, guys, we're going to take a look at this lovely new book by my friend Jean from The Artful Parent. She is amazing. So if I'm crafty, she is arty. And she's brought out her revised edition of this lovely book. And it's all about really easy ways of getting arty. And it's something that I don't really do enough, if I'm being really honest. There's so many great ideas in here that are super simple and super straightforward. And as it's summer, I thought, you know what? This is a great time to have a go and get a little bit messy. I flicked through and one of the things I was looking at earlier on was, actually no, it wasn't this page, yes it was this page. It was looking at watercolors. Now my daughter loves watercolors. It's something I don't do enough. And I thought, you know what? Why not make some bookmarks based on some of these suggested watercolor techniques? So we've got wet on wet. We've got salt. I have to confess, salt never seems to work for me. So we're not going to skip that one, but I'm going to do wet on wet. I'm going to have a look at the rubbing alcohol. I'm going to skip the crayon resist. I'm going to do the tape stickers and I'm going to do the glue resist. So I think those will be really fun. And what I like about this, this is like a whole session of craftiness and artiness. And look, it's just one page, one page out of 260 odd pages. So this is packed with brilliant ideas for all age groups. So I'm just going to get my watercolors ready. Okay, so here is my watercolor paper. You can use card as well. And to be honest, you know what? If you haven't got either, just use normal paper. I think it's better to have a go at something than not do it at all. Now I've got some glue drying here, which I'm gonna come back to later on. I want to let it dry a bit more, but I'm also being a little bit impatient and wanna get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the suggested wet on wet technique. Now, remember, I want to make bookmarks out of this. So I'm going to do long, thin strips that I can then cut down. So for the wet on wet, Jean suggests just getting lots of paint, wet paint here. And then literally just having fun experimenting with colours. So I'm just going to start off. I want to do the rainbow. So I'm just going to add lots of colour. Then try the next colour and just let them all run into each other and just see what happens. And not worry too much about where it goes. And look at all those lovely patterns it's doing. I love how it's running down the side. And I'm just gonna let it all spread out naturally and just see what it looks like at the end. I'm sort of loosely following the rainbow, so I'm just gonna get this a bit wetter. It's quite warm today, so things are drying quickly. Wet on wet get some green so I'm just following the rainbow and I'm loving what it looks like isn't that nice you know mix them up a bit if you want it doesn't have to be all next to each other a little this one maybe lots and lots of water There we go. Isn't that lovely? That's looking really nice already, isn't it? So Jean is all about exploration and just having a go and seeing what things, you know, what, what, what things to work turn out as. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of masking tape now for my next bookmark. It's quite big actually, so I might. So I'm just gonna cut this into thinner strips. Of course, if you're doing this on a large sheet of paper, then you can use the wider strips, but mine's a bit small, so. I'm going to leave one of them, but I think the other should be a bit thinner. I'll just do some patterns and see what, what it looks like at the end, right? I'm doing sort of zigzags. So nice to be outside. I think you can see the, the sun coming in and out, which is also quite fun. Summer's a great time to get one of these art books because actually you can just explore and, and have fun. So, okay, let's see which colour should we start with. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I might just go and do some kind of oh, sunset-y ones. So maybe have some yellow with a bit of green mixed in at the bottom. Maybe go around my colour palette. 
see what happens. Of course, we'll see at the end what this all looks like. Hmm, maybe we should have done that one first. There we go, let those dry. So we've gone wet and wet, we've got the resist. Now I wanna do something which is the rubbing alcohol one. Now rubbing alcohol is an interesting one because um, I haven't got any. <laughs> so that's gonna make it tricky, isn't it? So I had a look online to see um, what else I could use. And some people suggested vinegar, I tried that out. I'll tell you what, it didn't work at all. So then I tried out um, nail varnish remover <laughs> and you know what I think it worked so I'm just going to try some blues here sort of like I was thinking like the ocean maybe in the sky so if we do lots of different blues and then let's see what the robbing alcohol does maybe needs a bit more color so enough maybe a little bit of what's this color here is that purple or is that black no it's quite blackish isn't it so don't want that what about this one is that gray I think I want a purple. If I want a purple, maybe add some of this red because blue and there we go. I mean, this is what the book's about, right? It's just having a go, exploring, seeing what you get, and then afterwards, when you cut these up, I think they'll make really nice bookmarks. So, this is looking really nice. Let's just put my scissors there to help keep it a bit flat. And here's the big experiment. <laughs> so I've got my nail polish remover. I'm gonna put a tiny bit on this spoon. Maybe, oh. So this is nail polish remover. And then I'm gonna use a toothpick to drop it onto my, oh, it's not working very well. Let's see. Maybe if I can just do a tiny drop. thing is I tried this with a if you have a pipette oh look if you have a pipette I think it would work a bit better but I don't have one. Oh, look at that can you see those little circles it's kind of drying the uh the watercolors as I speak can you see those circles I think they look amazing my daughter saw me having a go at this and she was like oh oh We've done quite a lot there. I managed to drip it all over. Now, this is one of the reasons why I'm doing it outside, because I don't want to make a mess of my work surface indoors. Okay, I'm just gonna spray it now. That seems to work. Ah, now that was fun, a bit different. Don't you think? Made a bit of a mess, but hey. Oh, it's also made the glue react. So yeah, okay, so let's let that one dry. I quite like the little circles. Can you see the little ones? Certainly different. It's gone all over my scissors as well. Anyway, that's why we were doing it outside. Now, last one. I think, can you see that? I did glue here. So what I did, I used some paper like this. I got a little bit of glue out the first bit was a bit too much so I just did a little blob like that and then I took my toothpick and I shaped it into a heart now obviously that needs to dry one of them is still a bit damp but I'm gonna try anyway so that's how I applied my glue so you can have a go at that if you like let's now just see what this looks like when you paint over it who knows who knows what color shall we use um, should we do, I don't know which colours to use now, I've got a bit of nail varnish on that corner so I hope that doesn't cause any problems. Let's just see. All about experimenting and the great thing is when you're doing these little sort of test lines, to be honest, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter because at least one of the uh, bookmarks will look great and also whilst we're doing this we're kind of like learning a bit about how watercolours work learning about what does work and what doesn't work. 
There's a heart over here and there's a heart over there. This one's not dry yet, so maybe that's my mistake, but hey, I'm gonna put some... Patience is a virtue, isn't it? And then I'm gonna let them all dry. Now, what I didn't tell you actually is that on the back of this, I've already got some watercolors. So my bookmarks will be, will have two layers. Okay, so I've got lots of water. And then I'm gonna just add some of these colors. I've got like this purpley red at the top and this more orangey red at the bottom. See what this middle one's like. Let me put some of this middle one in them. Okay. Oh, I can see the hearts. Can you see the hearts shining up? Anyway, I'm going to let this dry, and then once everything is properly dry, we'll come back and cut them out and turn them into bookmarks. So yeah, I think that's been quite a fun little exploration. You know, some of it worked better than others, but that's what this book's all about. It's, you know, when you're doing art, let me push this up a little bit. When you're doing art and you're exploring different techniques, it's really about having fun, seeing what things look like. Um, this is lots of easy ideas. That's what I love about it. Oh, we do love a bit of paper mache, a bit of clay. It's just having a go, lots and lots and lots of ideas. And like you saw, I mean, what, this took maybe 20 minutes and that was 20 minutes based on one page of activity. And, you know, we'll just see how it turns out and also create some pretty bookmarks. So yeah, if you want to check out this book, this is by my friend Jean, The Artful Parent. I'll put some links down below and you can take a look. But um, in the meantime, let's come back and see how to turn these into a bookmark. Right, there you have it. We experimented with watercolours, we tried out different techniques, um, we combined it with some black and white art, and I think they're really fun. So, um, like I mentioned, check out the book, there's information down below. And um, yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Above all, keep watching, keep making, and I'd love to see you here again soon. Bye.